Hey guys, so I thought I would go ahead and start a little vlog or just a little weekend vlog. I think I want to do, I don't know, I just was in the mood. I just feel like I had a few things that I wanted to talk about and some things I wanted to put in here. And instead of making like three different videos, I could just do a long vlog for you. And I haven't really talked to you guys in a while, I feel like. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Today is Friday. It's about 5.30 now, but I did go... Um, shopping at TJ Maxx today. My stores just opened yesterday. So I have my TJ Maxx video up already Which you guys have probably seen it wasn't super exciting Let me be honest, but I kind of went over all my thoughts in that video I did actually too while I was at TJ Maxx um, while I was out at TJ Maxx I did stop for a little bit at Bath and Body Works just real fast So was, they just opened today I wanted to see what they had because I was thinking about filming a video But they just really didn't have a whole lot so Sorry, my cat just like ran upstairs. So I ended up just getting some hand sanitizer because I needed some and I didn't want to wait like forever to order online. And usually I can get stuff cheaper in stores. So they are open and I was really impressed actually with how they handled the store opening. They had someone checking people in um, to make sure there's not too many people in. And then they had a little counter that everyone could put hand sanitizer on. So they're trying to be careful. That's for sure. And then they have the little arrows. So you only walk a certain way and you take your bag when you get in so the cashiers don't have to hand you a bag um which is interesting and then they like stapled it shut at the end so they know you didn't like steal stuff i'll go ahead and insert the footage here of um the displays they had there they had some stuff 50 percent off but there just wasn't a ton of deals because i think they're getting ready maybe for some my annual sale or they just haven't got shipment in and they like just opened so i'll have to check back in a couple weeks but i'm going to insert the footage i have here showing you guys inside the store and what they had I'll show you guys what I picked up. I got my little bag here. I really didn't get much. I got one soap. This one was half off. Um, all their Easter stuff was 50% off plus a few different candles. This is the Sun Bunny Loves You and it is the Sprinkled Donut. It smells so good if you guys like vanilla scents. So I got that. And then the rest is all hand sanitizer. <laughs> this is one I was really pumped about, but they had these spray ones. So this is the antibacterial hand spray. And I got, they only had two cents, so I got eucalyptus mint, which is not my go-to. But I wanted to get this because I thought this would be nice actually to spray down my phone and my camera. So, like when I'm filming at TJ Maxx, um... Obviously, my camera, like my hands are touching my camera. If I'm picking up a product, I also don't want to spread germs. So I got this to also spray down my camera after the stores because I'm trying to be as safe as possible. I also got uh, these pocket bags. I think they changed the price now to five for eight dollars, maybe, or is it five for ten? I do not know. But they had a few cents um, there. And I think there's a limit. You can only buy 10 or so. But I needed more of these because I put these in my purse everywhere. So I got the apricot and apple eucalyptus tea. This one is blue ocean waves, island margarita, and then at the beach. So I got five of those. That's all I got from Bath and Body Works because, yeah, I'm waiting to see if they do their semi-annual sale. If they're going to do it in store, I think they'll for sure do it online, but... 
they haven't been having like the greatest sales lately so we'll see anyways i kind of just wanted to sit and talk to you guys about random things life everything that's been going on but i don't know i've been really in a funk i feel like for the last few weeks and just been feeling really down i just think i'm finally just over this stuff it just with my routine and everything it just feels like so repetitive and i'm sure you guys feel the same way it was honestly it felt so good and i feel like myself again that i was literally just able to go to tj maxx it lifted my mood that much more and i've been struggling lately like i feel like i have hardly left my couch um just only to like put on makeup and film a video for the day and then back on the couch to watch shows and that's all i've been doing because i just like can't i just don't want to put the effort in to do anything else because like what is there to do you know so if you guys need show recommendations i've watched pretty much everything but i'm feeling a lot better now and i'm ready to get back into things and I've been really bored with my YouTube content lately and kind of upset about it. Just, I don't know. YouTube, I love being able to do this as a job. Like, don't get me wrong, it's the best and I've been wanting to do this forever. But with every job, there's things that you don't like and things that are like struggles. Feeling like the beauty community is like a big competition and everyone's doing the same videos and no one wants to like watch mine. And I just feel like my views have been shitty lately. So I've been feeling a little bit down. It's just hard when like you put your heart and soul in something and spend hours doing something. And then like someone will do the same thing and they'll get so much more views than you. Then I start thinking, okay, maybe it's me. Maybe it's my personality. Maybe people don't like me. Am I doing something wrong? It's just like this is this is my head all the time. I, I don't know what causes this, but I constantly am always like worried about what I'm doing wrong. And... It's hard to deal with that and have that mindset all the time instead of like being confident and stuff like that. You guys are getting all all the real tea here about my life. But I just, I don't know, I just needed to talk about it. I need to get it out. It's hard. It's hard being on here. And I'm not going to stop. I'm still going to keep going with my five videos a week and pushing out the content and doing what I can because, I mean, at least that's something. I guess that's mostly all I have to talk about for now. I kind of want to wash my hair. This is like day four and I kind of want to tone it as well and see if I could get rid of some of this yellow. I bought some stuff like two months ago. Um, since I do have my uh, cosmetologist license, I bought from my professional website so I have legit redkin like color and I kind of just want to tone this blonde. I do have an appointment like the second week of June to get my hair done. Um, our salons just opened up recently so we are able to go to them which I'm excited to go to the salon because I know that hairdressers are one of the cleanest most sanitary people you have to be um, we have like a ton of training we have to do in sanitation so I'm not really worried about going to the salon and it's just like one on one person of course we'll both be wearing masks but girl my roots <laughs> I'm sure you guys feel the same and I feel so bad if you guys can't go yet and get yours done but it's it's not been horrible growing them out. It's kind of nice that I haven't got my hair done for like three three to four months now. But I'm gonna do that toner and see how it comes out, and I'll show you guys if it's good. But I just feel like I feel like in this lighting my hair looks normal, but normally it's just really golden, and I love more cool tones. So. Hey guys, good morning. I've been up for a bit. I just decided to go ahead and do a fun makeup look, and I'm gonna film. I'm testing out these new Too Faced chocolate matte eyeshadows. I'm not sure how I feel about them yet, so I need to test those a bit more, but I just got those in the mail the other day, and this Diamond Light bronzer, my lighting, you can kind of see the bronzer better now. Actually, it's pretty red tone, <laughs> but it's not bad. I think I want a bit heavy handed, because you know me, I always do, especially when I'm filming, but I might tone it down a bit. I'm about to take a photo, actually, for Instagram. But yeah, I've been up for a few hours now. I didn't get much sleep yesterday because it was raining so hard. Our bedroom upstairs, we don't have much insulation so you can hear everything and it's so loud. So that was fun. But I'm actually feeling good that I got up early and kind of getting stuff done. And then my husband worked on the bathroom for a little bit. I'll show you guys what we got done so far. We got this wall built. So that's nice. It was completely open and then we just bought this door the other day. So it's a mess. We got construction and then we'll probably paint over that just to get rid of any scratches and stuff from when we put it in the truck. But yeah, it's slowly coming along. We have drywall in for the most part. A couple more walls need to be done, but yeah, that's that's the the bathroom soon to be. <laughs> So yeah, we really don't have too much going on today. I'm just going to pretty much do Instagram and YouTube stuff 
for the most part. I even put lashes on today. I think I'm gonna try and wear them more for Instagram looks because I feel like it's just more eye-catching that way. Also, I forgot to show you guys my hair because I did use that toner last night and I feel like it did help a bit from Redken. I used their Professional Shades line, so I tried out their 10V. I use mostly 10V and then a tiny splash of 10N and I should have gotten like crystal clear or something to dilute it, but I still think it looks nice. So this, it kind of looks like I just got my hair done. It's really shiny. You can still see my huge regrowth, but I really love how it came out. I think it looks really good. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get to filming here and then it'll be about lunchtime. So I'll see you guys. I really updated you, but I had some major issues with my video, so I actually didn't even get to upload today. I am so mad because I had to film twice, and then I edited and everything, and it was blurry. So I'm just having major issues, but it's basically my microphone that's the problem, and I, I keep switching back and forth cameras, and I did order a mic. So that'll be here on Tuesday. I got, like, the fastest one. But I'm still going to have my TJ Maxx video up tomorrow. So at least that's something. And then maybe I can film something real quick Monday. Maybe I'll even put this vlog up Monday. I don't know. But basically, I was in a bad mood. So now <laughs> I'm feeling much better. We decided to grill out. And so we're going to sit on the deck for a bit and just have some drinks. It's a good time. So we've already kind of ate. We made some yummy pork burgers. We got some Fritos. We have cookies outside. And we made green beans. But I have to show you guys the best drink. We are obsessed here with um, the crown apple. You have to get the crown apple kind. It's so good. And then a Sprite together. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. And it's dangerous as well. But it tastes so good if you like green apple. Amazing. So we are going to sit outside a while, I think, and just kind of chill. Light our little bonfire. Hey guys, good morning. It is Memorial Day, Monday. I did not vlog at all yesterday. I um, just kind of had a chill day. Um, me and Tyler took out the razor. We went riding for a bit. And then, I don't know, we didn't really do too much. <laughs> kind of a boring day for us. But I did just get up a little bit earlier and picked up my groceries. I just did an online order. I love being able to order groceries online and then they just put it in the trunk for you. It's like so easy. I need to still shower. I just kind of like threw my hair up here and headed over that way and I got an iced coffee. Oh, this is my favorite iced coffee. It's like a caramel pecan flavor from a local place that I'm seriously addicted to. All right, I laid everything out. I did get more than I usually get this time, but I needed to stock up. Like, my fridge is empty, so I just got some of the essentials here. We got eggs, of course. I did get these, a couple of salad kits, but I don't know. This one I feel like expires today, and they have some weird red stuff going on, so I guess I'm gonna have to use that up ASAP. It's just a little Caesar salad kit. I love these salad kits because I'm just really bad at making my own salads, and I don't know. I just like the prepackaged ones. I got some sour cream. I love the little squeeze tube ones. I feel like they don't go bad as fast. Um, got some Mexican four cheese. Here's another salad kit. This is a sunflower crunch which looks really good. It has like a sweet onion dressing. I picked up some fresh dried beef here. I'm going to make some pickle wraps. I think I'll make those today so I wanted to use dried beef. Some people use ham. I got baby carrots and some strawberries I've been craving. We got spaghetti, must have in our house, some Velveeta cheese, pop secret, popcorn. Um, I got some graham crackers because I'm going to be, I wanted to have s'mores on hand. We were out by the fire yesterday. I'm like, it would be so good to just like make s'mores outside. So now that I have the ingredients, we can just have them if we want to. And they shouldn't go bad too fast. So I got those uh, graham crackers, some celery, which I probably, I've been thinking about just eating celery with peanut butter as a snack. So I'm going to try and do that. I try to get some healthy options, but I'm not always the best at that. Um, I got some cream cheese spread for the pickle wraps I'm going to make. I got these little whip yogurts. They were on sale and they look so good. I love the whip kind um, and I haven't had yogurt for a while but I got the orange cream and this cherry cheesecake which sounded really good so I could just eat those for a quick breakfast. I got oat milk. I love the planet oat milk. It's so good. I feel like this is the best tasting milk alternative although it does have kind of a lot of carbs in it but it's so good still. I got some heavy whipping cream if I want to make pastas like to put that in there. Uh, three avocados. I'm going to make avocado toast. I got some buns. 
uh, since we've been grilling a lot. I got these little halo oranges to snack on marshmallows for the s'mores and the Hershey's. Also, since I got graham crackers, I grabbed this Funfetti <laughs> frosting because I used to love just graham crackers dipped in frosting. It's so good, honestly. It just has a little sweet treat. This is my pickles for the pickle wraps. Then I got some multi-grain bread. I got some uh, corn. I'm going to be making mac and corn sometime in the next week or so. So I got some cream corn and some whole corn, which I should have gotten a bigger thing of that, but oh well. So yeah, that's all my groceries for the next couple of weeks. I feel like I got stocked up on pretty much everything, and I feel good about it. Look at my cat. <laughs> oh, goodness. Turbo. Turbo. Yeah. He loves getting into all this stuff. Alright guys, now I'm in my closet. I did put on some light makeup for the day, but I wanted to show you guys some new tops that I got in. I was going to do a clothing haul, but then I was like, eh, I pretty much only bought tops, so I didn't really want to make a whole video on that, so I figured I'd show you in this vlog because we have some really cute things. Some stuff you can still get, some stuff is not available yet, so <laughs> I'll try to link anything that I have down below. First up is this tie-dye shirt that I have been wearing a lot. I'm obsessed with tie-dye right now. I believe I got this one from Blue Lane Boutique. It is so cute. It's kind of a relaxed fit. I feel like this one might be sold out, but I've seen this on many different boutiques websites. I think even at where I work, the Pulse Boutique, we might actually have something very similar. But I love how this fits because I could just throw this on with leggings. These next items are from the Pulse Boutique, which is where I work like part-time. I model their large clothes for them. We have this adorable top. I had to have it. I feel like it's so unique. It has like the crochet detailing on top and then it's leopard kind of print and it's so cute I had to have this it's so fun next is this fun tie-dye top from the pulse boutique coming soon I don't think it's live yet this one is nice and long as well and it's just like a pink and white tie-dye and the sleeves are a little bit longer this one's so cute and this one does have a slightly relaxed fit to it but I am obsessed with this pattern okay so next is this blouse which looks kind of crazy with my leggings right now but I love that it's just like a plain black shirt that I could use for something dressy um, it does buttons here and it is one of those wrap style which I love I feel like they're so flattering so I decided to pick this one up just for a dressier top next I have the super cute floral blouse I think this might be one of my favorites because it's just adorable it's like roughly on the bottom and on the sleeves this one is from Maurice's I did get an extra large in this one just since it doesn't have a lot of stretch to it just in this waistband but it's so stinking cute I think they still have this one, so I'll have to link it, but I'm just obsessed. I think it's the cutest thing ever. Also, from Reese's, I got this cute little plaid button top. I like this one because it doesn't button all the way down, and so I can just wear it as a shirt. It has little buttons here, and you could roll the sleeves up. I thought this was just cute for every day. I do like plaid stuff, and probably not for summer, but maybe for, like, fall and winter. But, yeah, this is a cute one from Reese's, too. Let me know if you guys have been around long enough <laughs> to know that I used to work at Maurice's like when was that like three years ago I think two or three years ago I worked there for almost five years and I loved it but they have super cute clothes I feel like not many people talk about them but like all sizes very inclusive size wise you guys should definitely check them out and then the last thing I want to show you guys is this little sweatshirt. It's cropped. This is from Target, actually. I got this in store and it has the little um, daisies or I think they're daisies on it which is so cute. I feel like Daisy stuff is really in right now. I did get the double XL in this one, but just because I don't like stuff cropped, which I love how it fits here, but the arms are super long. So I don't know. I could just roll them up, I suppose, and it's fine. But yeah, I thought this was adorable. There was only a couple of them left, but I figured I would size up because yeah, I don't love cropped items on myself, but I love this print. It's so cute. So I think that's everything for my new top set guy. I just wanted to show you guys real quick. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Since it is about six o'clock, I want to get my video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys do want to see more i know this one was kind of all over the place but sometimes it's fun just to vlog little clip bits during the week so thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys later bye guys